in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Anthony Pui, the official in charge of this contest. Here we go. Again, not, not much of a filling out process. They're going right at it. Well, sometimes that is part of the feeling out, you know, just come straight at the guy and see what he gives you in return and gauge him off of that. You kind of test a guy's heart that way. Wow. White with a nice punch combination that time. I'll tell you, they're snapping those shots. Uppercut from Kendall oh. White. What a combo. Wow. These guys aren't just fighters. They're artists. I mean, it's art what they do. Now, I'll tell you what, when you get two artists on the same canvas. <laughs> <laughs> they might fight for space. <laughs> In the corner. Nice little elbow. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is a full room contest. So elbows are allowed. White shoves Muhammad off of him. Takes a left on the cheek. Muhammad's corner is calling for the left, and he's delivering Kendall straight down Main Street with his blow. Stumbles a bit, though. Kendall's really establishing that jab. Yeah. He's moving quick. Now you got to have an answer to follow up for it. Because a jab that doesn't establish anything is just a jab. Muhammad admonished. Ooh, nice combination. Again, the punching from Kendall White is superb. Yeah. Very crisp. Very crisp. He's Ten seconds. Doubling yeah. up on the jab, coming one, one, two. Oh, and right into the clinch. Very smooth. Mm -hmm. Forced the issue up against the very corner, and that's control. the way round number one very is. Very smooth control. Right, what do you see there? Uh, I saw a lot, a lot of ring control from Kendall. Um, I mean, even when he's backing up, he's still controlling the pace because as he's backing up, he's drawing Mo in and he's, he's he's landing that jab. When it comes into the clinch, he's starting to kind of dominate in the clinch arena as well because he's getting that tie plum and he's able to control him from there. And uh, I mean, just smooth transitions, very smooth transitions. A jab and working, uppercut, just missed there. But again, he, he he's been able to connect when he's punching. Yeah, he's, find, he's finding his range, and he's also he's also sneaking some shots through the guard of, of Muhammad. Now Muhammad's coming back, and he's got a, he's got some answers, but I think I think he's trying to feel out. So maybe this second round, maybe he comes out and has an answer for it. But he's going to definitely have to figure out soon. And like you said, sometimes part of that filling out is to come out there and see what your opponent's going to be able to do. Yeah. And, and Muhammad should have been able to download very well now that uh, Kendall White has got a nice jab and punching. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you have another testing round in there. I think he's going to have to get after it at this point. Here we go, round number two. White continues with the punching. Muhammad answers now. It looks like Muhammad's being a lot more offensive at yep. this point. Early in round number two. And some fighters do that. That first round is just a gauging, just like kind of leveling out. Muhammad's corner is employing him to be first. Now up into the corner. Would have been full rule that clinch is available there, and there's some knees starting to work in. Again, Kendall White is just phen wow. phenomenal punching. Very quick. Uppercut right up in there. See, even as he's backing up, he's establishing that range. Yep. Yeah, that can be very dangerous, especially being a southpaw. He, see, he's got that jab. He rolls it right over every time. Double up, double up. I think the difference here, though, is that he's giving space on the canvas, if you will, for Muhammad to respond. And that's what, in part, keeps it somewhat close. Yeah. But Muhammad's going to have to start responding. Yeah. A lot more. Yes. And quicker. Mm. Or as his corner would say, be first. This is for an IKF 
interstate title. Now that's a clean left there. Yep. And see, these shots are getting through. Kendall still touches him on his way out the door. 10 yep. seconds to go. You know, Kendall's looking very fresh at this point. There's it. Wow. He's going he's gonna to get a monitor for holding the back of the head and throwing those elbows in there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, everyone. Thanks for long. Short, short, of, short of that, a monitor, ring control, if we're talking about that, Kendall White has got it. Yeah. And that's like I said, just because he's moving back, I mean, he, he's drawing and baiting him into that jab. And I mean, the range, he's finding the range. He's establishing the distance. And even in the clinch, um, he's really giving Muhammad a lot of problems. So I would say at this point, uh, Muhammad's going to have to put something together. Some kind of a combination, a strong answer for what Kendall White uh, has been doing all throughout the, the round. Yeah, because he's allowing him to step forward and gain gain ground, but it's it's only to what appears to be uh, Muhammad's demise at this point. However, now just just based on that really very brief clip there, Muhammad is touching. He is touching him. He is. He is. But it seems to me like like Kendall may be responding with. Uh, up to three to four shots. Uh, after. Volume, volume-wise, yes. gotcha. Yes. Third and final round, I do believe, or is this a five-rounder? I am not certain. I'm gonna have to check with somebody to find out if we're doing five rounds here or three. But I know we're in the third round, and Muhammad seems to be a little more aggressive. Yeah, and now if it is a five-rounder, um, it would make sense that he gave, he gauged for two. Yeah because he's really coming forward now. Third round here. And he's really stepping into the pocket now. He's, uh, Muhammad looks hungry. Mm -hmm. Kendall's moving very well, establishing the jab. But he's taking a bit now from. Yeah, those knees are, are starting to touch. Wow. And now Muhammad, good escape for Kendall White because he was in trouble and, and Muhammad is marching forward. Those knees to the body are working over on Kendall White now. He's pressing him. Oh. 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 Kendall White is in trouble. He's overwhelming him. Kendall White is in trouble. He can't get him off him. He's got to get him off him and get his back off the ropes. He's Kendall got White is in oh. trouble. Now see those knees must have took a lot out of Kendall. He's starting to look like he's Kendall heavy. White. Kendall White is in trouble. <laughs> Kendall oh. White is in trouble. Maybe this was a strategy. It nice. looks like a cut on Muhammad. Nice shots from Kendall. Uppercut. Nice uppercut. Yeah, you're right. There's a cut on Muhammad. Right eye, nice little mouse. It's in a safe spot. Oh, nice knee. those knees. Uppercut from Kendall White, it returned to favor by Muhammad. We got a beautiful fight here. Wow. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Now I can't tell if that's blood on Muhammad's right eye or if that's yeah. a cut. I mean, there's a cut, but I don't know how big it is. Both men with a knockdown. Wow. All right, let's give a round of applause. Wow. Hey, I'm going to tell you, he, Muhammad poured it on strong that, that round, but. But that last second. Ken, Kendall come, come flying back, and that, I mean, that. That knee knocked White it out the ring. <laughs> yeah, you had the ringside doctor holding yeah. his shoulders up on the. <laughs> In the corner, those knees. And then this is how it ended. The oh, elbow. Wow. Oh, boy. What a shot. And a second one to follow up that put him on his backside. 
Now, see, I don't know. Are, are they going to call that a knockdown? It, it he was like, count Did he count? I don't think he did, but it looked like a knockdown to me. That didn't look like a trip or a slip. I think he caught him with the right elbow. See that? Well, he kind of pushed him on that last elbow. Run it back one more time, guys. So, first one definitely was a straight shot. See, there was no leg, one. No leg entanglement. No, you're right. It was it was a clean shot. He fell. I mean, I I don't know how you would judge that. Mm, by all appearances, it looks like it was uh, knocked down. And I don't know. Did they give him a standing eight when he went through the ropes? Kendall went through the I'm ropes. not sure we got a standing eight there either. So no knockdowns then. Fourth round. There we go. Deep, so we're clearly water. going to five. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And furniture just got moved in a hurry. And Kendall White is not feeling good at the moment. No, he looks to be in pain. Shots were blowing there, and bam! Oh, God! Oh. Right straight in the Dixie Cup. It's, it's one thing to get the left, but when you get the left and right, you know. Here it comes one more time. The blow, bam! Oh. That, was, that was beyond a check. Kendall White. And you know they said that's a thousand times more painful than giving birth. Well, I don't want to try it. That's giving birth or the... <laughs> getting the white and checking to make sure everything's still in the living room. It was like my grandma always said, you know, if men had to give birth, they'd come out tall and skinny. <laughs> <laughs>